Hi students, I am Kosalindra. In this video, we'll be recollecting the basic concepts like modulation, types of modulation, and we'll be looking into the differences between continuous and pulse modulation schemes. Also, we'll be reviewing the waveforms of different modulation schemes. And I thought of putting up this refresher video so as to make you feel comfortable with the upcoming lecture videos on the concepts related to pulse amplitude modulation. I hope all of you are staying home and staying safe. It's been a long time because of the lockdown and I suggest you to learn from home and utilize your time wisely. Now let's recollect the concept of modulation. The process of modulation basically involves two waveforms or signals. One is modulating signal and number two is the carrier signal. The modulating signal, which is basically a low frequency signal is represented here in black color and the waveform in red color is the carrier signal which is basically a high frequency signal and the characteristics of a signal are amplitude frequency and phase and now let's recollect the process of modulation I hope you remember this modulation is defined as the process in which the characteristic of a carrier signal is varied in accordance with the instantaneous value of the modulating signal. If any parameter or the characteristic of the carrier wave is varied with the instantaneous value of the modulating signal, then that process is called modulation. If you vary the amplitude, it is called amplitude modulation. If the frequency of the carrier is varied with respect to the instantaneous values of modulating signal, then it is called frequency modulation. And similarly, if the phase of the carrier signal is varied with respect to the instantaneous value of the modulating signal, then it is called phase modulation. And here is the classification of modulation. This classification is done based on the type of carrier used in the process of modulation. If a carrier wave which is continuous in nature is used, then it is called continuous wave modulation. And in pulse modulation, a pulse waveform is used as a carrier. In continuous wave modulation, again, there are two types, amplitude and angle modulation. And in an angle modulation, there are again two types, frequency and phase modulation. So for total, under continuous modulation, we have amplitude modulation, frequency modulation, and phase modulation. And similarly, in pulse modulation schemes, which are categorized as analog and digital, so under analog, we have pulse amplitude modulation, pulse width modulation, and pulse position modulation. And under a digital modulation scheme, we have pulse code modulation. And this is how different pulse modulation schemes are represented. So as discussed before, the only difference between the continuous modulation and the pulse modulation is that the usage of pulse carrier in the case of pulse modulation schemes. So here, the pulse carrier is varied. The amplitude of the pulse carrier is varied with respect to the modulating signal. So the envelope over here represents the modulating signal. And this particular pulse signal, which is varying in amplitude, is the pulse carrier signal. So in PAM, the amplitude of the pulse carrier is varied with respect to the modulating signal. And this is pulse width or pulse duration modulation in which the duration or width of the pulse carrier is varied with respect to the instantaneous amplitudes of modulating signal and in pulse position modulation the position of the pulse carrier is varied with respect to the modulating signal and pulse code modulation is a method used to digitally represent sampled analog signals so these are the different types of pulse modulation schemes Amplitude modulation is a type of continuous wave modulation and so uses a continuous carrier signal in which the amplitude of the carrier signal is varied in accordance with the instantaneous value of the modulating signal. And here is the waveform which represents the amplitude modulated signal. Pulse amplitude modulation is a type of pulse modulation and so uses a pulse carrier signal in which the amplitude of the pulse carrier signal is varied in accordance with the instantaneous value of the modulating signal. The modulated signal that is shown here is the natural type PAM signal. The other types of pulse amplitude modulated signals are flat top and ideal types, which we will be seeing in the coming video lectures. 
please uh, feel free to post in your suggestions or doubts in the comment section. I'll be glad to respond. Thank you.